So my very first job was at Mr. Donut. Did pretty well there. I was employee of the month the first month that they offered it. And so I then had a chance to work across the street at Friendly Snowballs where I managed the snowball stand. And at that time, I figured if you can manage 15 and 16 year olds, you can manage anybody. So when I think about my early jobs, what I, what I learned is that every role is important and that you start from somewhere. And so if you take care of the customer well, they tell your boss and they tell your boss is boss and then you get more opportunities. So no matter what role you're in or what role you start in, if you do well, you have great opportunities. I see that every day in our business. So we have associates that start in the mailroom. They start off as porters. And five years later with development, they're working on the technology team and they're working as sales associates. And it, it's pretty neat to see when I'm out in the stores, people that once worked in the mailroom of the corporate headquarters in a really exciting role today. So one of the biggest things in order to reach positions in leadership I think you have to be good at is listening. It's hard. Many of us are trained to talk and I think you learn the most when you actually listen. So you have to listen to your customer, you have to listen to your associates, you have to listen to vendor partners and listen to the people that work for you. And if you've, if you've staffed that team well, they'll tell you the truth. Some days uh, the, the truth is, hurts a little bit, um, but you always learn from it. So it's interesting when I think about when did I realize I wanted to be CEO. It, it's not something that you always think about. It's something that happens along the way as you're focused on your company and as you're focused on developing other people. So one of the biggest things for me has been how do you help grow other people? I've been given a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great mentorship in my career. So I've always thought about building other people. And along the way, when you combine that with taking chances, and taking on different roles, you, you get some great opportunities. And in this case, it was to be CEO and President of AutoNation, a company I'm extremely proud to lead.